Okay, today we're looking at Google Maps plugins for WordPress websites. As you can see, when you look in the plugin directory on WordPress.org, you get 356 plugins. So I'm going to look at a couple of the better rated ones and plugins that let you do slightly different things, sometimes more complicated or sometimes a little bit more simple. So we're going to kick off now and look at WP Google Maps. Okay, so here is WP Google Maps on the actual page. It looks fine, there's plenty of controls for maneuvering around the map. You drop the pin there, you can zoom in and zoom out and whatnot. Uh, that's fine. There is a lot of control in the back end. Now, all that is, of course, is generated through the short code, which many of the plugins use, which is perfectly fine. If we look at the back end, also note that there are premium extensions for this so that the free version is fairly comprehensive you can do quite a few things with it there's also an upgrade you can do if you want to so let's look at the back end okay there's the short code we saw earlier uh, we obviously can name the map and whatnot we can change the dimensions one criticism of changing the dimensions is it doesn't give you set dimension type so you have to actually go to another site and work out which dimensions might suit you rather than having like say a small a medium and a large option so the default marker you can upgrade for example if you want to i don't know have a chili or a nail or something instead of the standard marker to mark a spot you can do that, but it's only available in the Pro Edition. So that's a little disappointing that you have to pay for that, but that's okay. There's plenty of control here. You can align it left, right, center. The roadmap, you can change it as well to its default setting. And again, you can put in GeoRSS or various other information in the Pro version. So they're obviously gearing up for just the basic stuff in the basic version, and anything really beyond that, you're going to have to pay for it. So you can add other markers, you can add pictures, but again, I suspect it's only in the Pro version. Well, to be fair, the Pro version is pretty sweet. I mean, you can add all sorts of imagery, you can add all sorts of icons for places of local interest or interest around uh, your place of business. You can allow your visitors to get directions. Now, that's all fine and well, but I suspect there are other options. I'm going to find them for you now in a minute, where a lot of plugins you can get to do this for free. They may not display as well, they may not have quite the functionality, but you may save you the $15. But look, maybe $15 is no problem and you want it done right, so it, this could be a good option for you. The other thing to mention about WP Google Maps, but there are some more setting options that allow you to control. For example, you can disable and have a lot of the controls that a user might have. Now, personally, I think most people want the user to have as much control of the map as possible. But if you want it much more static, tighter, then you have that option and you can just save settings. And that's all in the free version also. This is more of maybe blog relevant than WordPress static sites. So if you have a blog and you travel a lot or whether around the city or around the world, you can use this plugin, ProNamic Google Maps. And what basically it does is it allows you to drop pins and geolocation markers wherever you are for various posts. So it's kind of an interesting idea. So instead of actually marking a place of business, you're actually marking various different places for, for a different post. Some people, that, that might be very relevant and helpful. Okay, I'm looking at WPG Mappity here on WP Plugin Foo, and I'm looking on their website because they have a very funky little demo of their uh, Maps plugin. A great thing they have is this different sized option for the map and you can actually see what, what size the map looks like on the page which is pretty excellent another thing they have is the zoom so we're going to add a marker we're going to have just typed in 35 bond street there a moment ago you can also put in a custom image which is great so you can have a little chili if you're a restaurant or something like that which is excellent usually you have to pay for those which is very cool we're going to throw that in there there it's in when we scale up for some reason in the demo recently i was doing this yesterday and it was working fine and now it seems to just still want to go into Kansas City for some reason. But anyway, the demo is there, where is it? here on London. And what you can do is you can do routes. So you can do um, search failed. Right, so this is a little bit of a downer because the practice thing was working yesterday. And today it doesn't seem to be working for some reason. This is a shame. There are so many great controls on this. There's so much usability on it and all for free that it's, so, that it's incredibly impressive. As you can see here, you can change the actual zoom of the map, which is hugely useful because you can make that large 
which has this effect here. It gives you this bar that you can move in and out, which is absolutely excellent. You can move this around. You can move everything around different parts of the page to suit your needs and how it fits on the, on the page. Position top right, or you can move to any of these places. So very, very funky. The map type, you can change the satellite hybrid terrain, all of these different things. Now, the big word of caution is that when you actually look at it, as it suggests, rate it on wordpress.org, hit can't actually find it. So that's a big worrying point for me, that either it was deleted off it because there were problems with it, or it was not good, or has it's yet to be approved again. Who knows? Now, there's lots of people seem to be using it. There's over 100 comments, and most of them are wow, thanks, but some of them are I'm running into little bits of problems. What I'd suggest is, if you're very cautious, avoid it, use something else. If you really want a lot of these functions, then a great idea might be to test it out, see how it works for you. And as I said, this is just a demo version which seems to be coming into little problems, but it was working for me earlier. But there's so many great things that most other plugins actually make you pay for, like the roots or the custom markers. So please do have a look at it if you feel like giving it a go. If you're in a rush or you want a simpler outfit, there are better plugins. If you want something that has this amount of function, then maybe give it a try. Okay, we're going to have a look at the comprehensive Google Map plugin. Here we are in the shortcode builder uh, where we get to generate a shortcode for our page. And there's a huge array of settings. In the basic settings, you have the size and the, the zoom that the map starts in. But what's particularly interesting, you have a huge choice of languages, which I haven't seen as an option in many of the other plugins. Same with direction, hint, and, and most of them have a map type, which is great. The map control is interesting. You can, of course, keep them, most of them shown, which is what most people want. But odd things like scroll wheel and tilt 45 degrees are available as well, which you haven't seen anywhere else. If we move down, this is really one of the big benefits is the map markers, where you have a huge array of choice of different pin types. There's the airport, there's all sorts of sports and activities or restaurants and, and other types of notes. You can mark things by letters or mark things by numbers. So huge, huge amount of choice. This is particularly handy because an awful lot of plugins that we've seen that give this option tend to give it as a, as a premium option that you have to pay for. So let's generate a, a little marker and see what happens, see how it looks. So let's choose just a simple uh, blue pin. And, uh, 35 Ox Street, London, UK. Now this is the interesting part. Enter marker info into the bubble. So you can actually make a statement like, um, showing us opening show then we just hit add and there's the pin with the message great scroll down there's a few other options there for more complicated things but let's just generate the short code it's quite a long short code there's the short code and we're going to copy that go into our page paste it in make sure it's in html uh, because it is a piece of code so you have to be sure of that click update uh, go to the page and refresh the page. And there is our map. Now, this is very interesting. It's a nice map, but it's very square, which is quite interesting. Uh, most Google Maps tend to be quite uh, rectangular to give a better sense. Also, the zoom probably wanted naturally to start in a little bit closer so you can really see the, uh, the neighborhood a bit clearer. So this is one of the problems uh, with this plugin. Go back here. This is, this is both the benefit and the problem. There are so many options, but they don't actually give you a live preview. Many plugins give you a live preview, and this is one of the small problems with this. So, for example, maybe we want, let's make it 450 wide, right? and let's zoom in to, say, let's say 16, so we want it uh, that bit closer. Let's just use those changes for the minute. Um, the pin is fine, so let, let's have a look at that. Generate short code. Do the same again, copy, paste it in, update the page, then update this page, and there it is. As you can see, it's wider and it's closer in the neighborhood. So it does require maybe a little more playing around, a little bit more knowledge of what sort of pixels will give you what, and some of the other settings, but it does allow you to play. Also notice that when I click on the pin itself, that bubble pops up there. It's 35 Oxford with the address and the message we wanted, which was join us for opening show. You can click also to get directions to and from there, from your current location, which is a great little add-on there. So you could probably customize this to how you like.
as I said, though, the greatest drawback of it uh, that half of these things you don't know what to do and you can't see it in as a live preview. If you have the time, this is probably the best choice Google Maps plugin that I could recommend. Also, as I say, there isn't a live generator, but there is help files that when you click on them, they tell you exactly what each setting does. So when you're playing around with it, you can actually see what that does. So very comprehensive, huge amount of choice. This would be probably my recommendation out of most of the Google Maps plugins that I've looked at. Check out comprehensive Google Map.